situation. Daddy's got our boards, which were for shelves in the... Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Hi. How are you? You know the camera's on? I got her a bunch of clothes. Uh, somebody was giving them away. So I did get her a bunch of clothes. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're going to film it before and after we got the dryer and washer going. Getting everything done right now. Already got all the suitcases out. So he got the suitcases out. He's gonna get these. These chairs weigh like a good 50 pounds at least. They're, They're extremely bases. heavy. They're made of like steel instead yeah. of metal. So the tarp is ours. We're gonna take it with us. The ladders. Everything in here is ours except for the air conditioner. And the dude. Um. Yeah. That that is a dude. But that's what it's called. It's a dude without yeah. the. Receptor. Uh, this is the door that goes to this, Which so he's we'll got to get after. Yeah, he's so. got to put that on later because they can't take the dryer and washer out otherwise. So let me watch him. Okay, so Hadar did unload all this stuff out here, but he sorted it out, and we're going to take the suitcases and pack them up. He also took down, there was a strip lighting here, and a strip lighting here, and he took that down. So right now he is taking the light down in the kitchen, and it's right there, so he's got to put the old light back up, and it's just one of these right here, just a little light. Okay, I'm in the Mamad, which is the safe room, the bomb room. I have a huge suitcase, I call it Big Blue, and I have a carry-on, and I'm going to pack a bunch of this stuff. It's all homeschool stuff. We've got stuff stacked up here that was on the wall here, so all of this is gonna go into these. I'm doing a spider climb. I asked mommy for pizza if daddy allows it. But then I told them the thing I said. Now I'm going to slip a little down. Okay. And then I'm going to jump. Woo! Like giggle. Good job. All right, I got big blue filled. And that is just with books, basically. So half of this was books. Um, I still have this one empty, so I'm going to put some non-breakable, non-crushable toys. I have a feeling they're going to stack them, so the rest of this is going to go into here. The non-breakable. Yeah. Okay. morning. Well, it's not morning. It's evening. Yep. Good evening, and look what I got. Okay. Yep. From McDonald's! Woohoo! So Raphael's packing his box of toys over there. I'm packing the musical instruments and the puzzles and the little games right here. Uh, okay. I'm getting all the little puzzle pieces and putting them in a Ziploc bag. And I got this handy dandy tape gun. So I have one box here and it's got all like board games, stuff like that. Raphael packed a box, I'm gonna have to pack it just a little bit. Got a GoPro up there and all the accessories and camera. Got a bunch of stuff to put in boxes and a table and more out. So this is 10, 11, 12, not me. Pretty much empty. It's gonna be like two boxes of stuff there. So he's gonna take this apart in just I need a little a bit. For that. Yeah, in just a little bit, he's gonna take it apart. So we're gonna finish. Early in the next morning. Good morning, everyone. This morning I am 
<clears throat> I'm a little sick. Uh, I've been kissing Abigail a lot and kids, just hanging around with them. Everyone at work is sick, so my throat is a little sore, but this is pretty good otherwise. Being pretty good for being sick. Uh, this morning I am looking for cardboard boxes because we're moving and cardboard box hunting maybe because this town does not have many places to go to. A lot. The last place we lived I had no problem. You can go look at videos two years ago. But today there's really just not that much and I would say I'm pretty good at hunting them because I've been doing it since I was a kid basically. I move a lot. Um, not not box hunting since I was a kid, but moving a lot, so I know what to look for and where to look. And so we're getting some of those. Uh, of course, I'm putting my gloves on so I don't get rabies. JK. And got my Leatherman, and I'm just cutting them open and putting them up. So tomorrow and the day after, I'm not going to be home at all. Got some stuff at base to do. And two days after that, we're already moving. So hoping to get a lot of boxes so Andrea can work while I'm gone. We're packing, everyone. Morning. We're packing. For the next week, tomorrow we're moving on school day. The last year. Well, shout out, Abigail. Here comes the last box. Uh, she loves boxes. Here. What are you calling to, Abigail? Here you go. Mm, let's shut that. Hold on. Shut it. Good night, everyone. So we have a big box pile. I hope that doesn't fall down and wake Abigail up and me up. Yeah. Abigail and you are going to share a room tonight. Yeah, because we organized her room with a lot of boxes yeah, in it. Yeah, we sure did. All yep. right, let's go to bed now. Get your kitty. If you can find her. I'm gonna finish this up tomorrow. Time for bed now. Gotta get my mama and fill it up for bed. So I boxed all this up today. Daddy rolled the uh, rugs up and he took all of the lights down. We installed new lighting in this house, and he took all of it down in every single room. And that's why that lighting is so yellow and not nice. It's just a, a bulb. Just a bulb hanging, so. We've got paint. He's going to come back and sand and paint and putty the holes in the wall. It's going to be fun. Well... Hope you have a great night, everyone. What? Hope you have a good night, everyone. See you in the morning. That was very nice of you to say. Well, I need my bubble filled up, but it's already for bed. Okay, good night. My other bubble is for school tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Daddy's sick, so we're all going to bed early. He's got to go to work tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Early in the next morning. Hi guys. So let me tell you a little bit about this week. We've had some really, really bad things happen to us this week that we won't talk about. But it's been extremely bad. Uh, just know that. We're dealing with that. Mine and Hadar's relationship it has nothing to do with that. We're good. We have always been good. We kind of... I don't know, we have a like a solidarity. When things are bad, we're close. You know what I mean? We're, we stick together and we're a family and we do it as a team. And he even wrote me a letter um, the other day to say that, you know, no matter what happens to us, we're a team and we do it together. So he said, let's just get out of this mess because we're in a, a bunch of mess right now, like liter literally 
spiritually, emotionally, yes. just everything. Just a, just a bunch of mess. We're moving. Moving. And moving is stressful, but we have to deal with something really, really bad on top of that, and we'll get through it. Um, on top of that, I can tell you that um, the U USCIS or whatever that Hadar is trying to get his U.S. citizenship, they gave him a receipt of, like, they got his paperwork receipt and our money, and they were supposed to get back to him within 7 to 10 days, and it's been 3 months, and when he puts his receipt number in, it says it's invalid. So we're going to have to figure out what's going on with that. We cannot call the states because we don't have international phone calling, even though it's a 1-800 number. And we can't dial 000 to get to it because you have to have, you have to pay for that service or something. I don't know. But we can't call, so we're going to have to like use my mom's um, magic jack or something. We're going to have to do something. Have her call. I don't know. Anyway... So he's dealing with that. He's trying to get the process started of becoming a U.S. citizen because we don't want to get there and then him have to fly back, which would be $1,200 for him to fly back and stay here for a month or something and do that every three months now. We're not doing that. So, you know, he has to become somewhat of an American legal to be there. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to deal with that. I have had to fly back once or twice during my citizenship process from is for Israel so we don't want to do that um, we don't want to be caught without papers and you know him be banned from the states for two years or whatever we want to do it completely legal so look here this has been a really hard process um, thank you guys for your support seriously uh, you know I have thought this week about just not blogging ever again and then the only there's two reasons why I will continue blogging whether we make money on YouTube or not um, my searchability on YouTube is down to zero I don't rank at all in YouTube at all so my ability to gain new subscribers is zero <laughs> so I thought about quitting, but the two reasons um, my mom watches and she enjoys the videos and you watch and you enjoy the videos and my kids, my kids are the big reason why I'm not going to stop vlogging and that is because it would be so unfair to them to just stop, you know, when Abigail's one and Raphael just turned five. It, it would be so, so unfair to them to not keep their memories going. So that is why I am going to continue vlogging. But uh, any success that we have, it, it pretty much, um, it's going to be a, an uphill battle from here. So we're going to start all over again, pretty much, I guess. But we do things as a team, and we'll get through it together. Hopefully you're part of our team, and you stick with us. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. It means everything to us. And want Raphael to wants to say something. You know what I want to say? What? It's something a surprise. What is that? When I get five stickers, there's going to be two more, and then it's time. Okay. And I'm all done. He's been doing really, really good helping me pack. Yeah. I mean, he's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. I'm watching TV because I asked mommy, and she said yes. Yes, he's been doing a really good job. We're really proud of him. We're gonna go for now because we still have a little bit more to pack. Bye, everyone. See you when you get back from the next daily vlog. You're the helper. You can help us pack when you want to move if you want. Sure. They can help. Maybe they can come over tomorrow and watch our next daily vlog. Yeah. You yeah, can come that, helps. That, that helps. That helps. Yeah. Tomorrow we're moving, not today. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.
Bye. See you when you get next to the next daily vlog. Bye, guys. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Bye. Can we have Oh, that sounds so good!